So I just finished building my first asset. I have it here in my frame. So right now I have two keyframes built. I basically have my last keyframe and my first keyframe. And now I need to look at my storyboard and see the first thing I need to do is change this face into a cat. Right? And some of those cat elements like the whiskers, the nose, uh, I have, and then some I need to create like the ears. So I go back to my assets. I can save my work as I go. And the first thing I have to do when I return to my assets is I have to delete this layer that I merged and duplicated because it's hiding everything. And so the first thing, if I just hit delete without deselecting, it's just going to delete everything in that layer, but that layer is still there. So instead, I want to hit Command D to deselect and then hit delete, and then it will actually delete the layer. And you couldn't see any of that because remember that layer was merged of what was already visible. So now with that merge layer deleted, I can get started changing into the cat and building the next keyframe. And I want the eyes to change. So instead of actually changing this, uh, these eyes, I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to call this folder, or if it's just one layer that that layer eyes two because this will be the second keyframe for the eyes and then I can go in and actually change the eye so I'm going to take one and I just want to change its shape a little bit I just want to make it tilted just a little bit and maybe widen it out just a little bit to get a little bit more like a, a cat's eye. So that's one thing. And then I need to duplicate that. And then flip it horizontally. And move it to the other side. and then delete anything I don't need in that duplicate. So I go from eyes one here to eyes two here. But I also want to start building the whites of the eyes. So I go to where I have my eye whites. Right? And I'm going to duplicate that. And then I'm going to try to just change, see everything here, hold down shift. Hold down shift and option, kind of shrink this shape around my existing eyes. And with those those bevel and emboss like highlights, it's pretty satisfying looking. Can play with the perspective. Okay, now with both of these, I might want to select both of these groups together. and then play with making them a little bit smaller all together. So what did I have before? I can always go to my stage. This is what I had before. This is kind of what I'm building it. And that might be too big a step. So maybe I'll make this, this step eyes three. So let me make a duplicate of it. Come on.
And then now I'm going to change eyes to make them a little less tilted. And the whites around them This is going to be eyeball whites three. Make a duplicate of that. And this is going to be eyeball whites two. And now in eyeball whites too, I want to really make that white subtle. Like it's barely there at all. Why am I not seeing it? Oh, because I have the other one turned on. Try perspective again. <laughs> Wrong one. All right, so that feels a little bit gentler from this to this. Now, I want to start hinting at the cat's nose. So I'm going to find the nose. And instead of just putting it in like that, I'm going to make a duplicate of it. And I'm going to start it smaller. Hold down Option and Shift. And I'm going to make it fainter by just using Opacity. So it's barely there. And then for the mouth, I think I want the mouth to get kind of squiggly, so I'm going to make a duplicate of it, and then I'm going to warp it. And I'm going to up this corner and tug this one down and do that with the bottom edges too. Just so we start to get used to a little bit of shape change in the mouth. I feel like I can do that more cleanly. Let me try again. Now remember, you're allowed to use the paintbrush tool. You're allowed to draw your assets, change your assets any way you like. I like trying to do it all as a vector just for the discipline of it. But at the end of the day, this is just about controlling pixels. It's about compositing. So you decide what makes the most sense for you. OK, so my mouth changes to this. And I might just use my arrow keys and move it down a little bit away from that nose. So I go from this to this. All right. Now, I also need some ears. So I go back to my full head. I duplicate it with all its effects. And I'm going to shrink it. I'm 
And then I'm going to, let's see, let's try skew. Nah, not enough. So I'm going to go to warp. I'm going to change this into a cat's ear. Flattening out the bottom. Making a little bit more triangular. And because I want to play with the emoji, I don't want it to get too complicated. I want it to look pretty symbolic still. So something kind of like that. Let's see what that looks like behind the head. Let's warp at the bottom a little bit. Bow it out on this side. Tighten it up on this side. Okay. So now let's see what that looks like underneath the full head. Let's make it work on top. So sometimes building assets takes a little bit more effort. So I want to get the curve of the bottom right in a way that feels complementary to what's already there. And if I rasterized this, instead of leaving them as vector shapes, I could just use clone stamp to erase the seams and everything. But it's more interesting to, to try to make it work this way. Then I'm going to duplicate that. I should rename this ear. And then duplicate that ear. Command T, shrink it smaller. And then I'm going to change its color and angle. Or maybe just distort it from one corner like that. Let's see, I'm going to change it through effects. And now, instead of an inner shadow, I want to have an inner glow. Pretty noisy. It's really helpful to use layer styles for your animation for just little adjustments that you can control. I want to give it a slight outer glow as well. And then I want to play with the color overlay and make it a pink. And then let's see, what else can I do? Just for the inside of the ear, I can give it an inner shadow from the top. There we go. And then let's just play with that size and that placement. Okay, and now I think I want to play with the ear shell 
and the bevel and emboss feature. I want to brighten that up. 